Hey guys, Kublon, we're back. I'm Aaron. I'm Calvin. Eric. And we're back with Arcane, where last time in Arcane, things got pretty bad. Yeah, it would seem like uh, while things are getting bad, Ambessa is using uh, the bad times, or influencing the bad times, to gain a little bit more power in the city. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, we had a great battle. We did. We had a fun fight there, uh, but a lot of explosions, which I don't know what they did, if it was just for show, mm -hmm. if anyone got injured, or if it released any gas. It seemed very much like powder paint. <laughs> it could be opening all of the... Uh, That's not her name anymore. I know, but it was funny. Finally got the name right. It could have been opening all the vents, maybe, so yeah. that the gas could start flowing, yeah, but it might sure. take a little bit, you know? Because mm -hmm. all those were locked up and closed, but... Yeah. I don't know. Uh, also, I believe we were missing some people in... Um, I don't know where they went. Weird, gooey, whatever. I don't know. Weird. Don't know. It was the yeah. hex core. I had a lot of questions, and I played League of Legends, so... <laughs> I didn't. I know everything. <laughs> Another double intro episode? Definitely like a savior kind of art piece. Double intro. Was was that the uh, the little girl that yep. did the yeah. mural? Oh, did, did the mural? Yeah. It looked like I her. Mean, it looked like she, the same girl she, that was in the road. Like right? she was the one painting things blue. Almost. I don't know if she did the mural, but she outlined it blue or watched it and looked at it. I don't know. It's like Jinx's new pseudo sister. Like she gets to be the older sister now. Marietta. Huh? I did one of the directors, there was three directors, and one of them's first name was Marietta. Cool. Which is the town we live in. Like M A R O Y. Marietta. Yeah, Marietta. Let me guess. Hmm. Complaints about the Noxians. You could call it off. Withdraw from the underground. We establish the council. Hey, this is like a, a new arc, right? Mm -hmm. Not without Jinx. I guess. It's I mean, she's the supreme general now, right? It is episode four, though, if that's what you mean. Ladies and gentlemen, you're in the wrong place. The wretched Stinkball! Stinkball, okay. Are they, like, really tiny? Don't start singing that song. Scuttlebutt. No, Aaron, I said don't! Little tiny. I hope they're a little tiny. Yay! I'm happy for you, Calvin. Step on. No, Calvin. I thought you were going to step on him. All right, all right. Oh, is she going to do her? Yeah. Ta da! She even has the big tattoos. Is Jinx is dead. Hmm. Those are crazy rails. <laughs> I don't like the look of this. Yeah. Well, where's your goggles, dude? You're in there. The cow razor. Here, play with this puzzle box. Don't think he made it. Where'd he go? Oh my god. We can't be certain the black. Keep their name out of your mouth. We black Rose. They have my daughter, Rictus. Our moment will come. Black Rose. Hmm. Is she showing support with the blue hair? I think everybody was turning their hair blue, right? Yes, yeah. Oh, shit! This is her Batman era. Uh, is it her? I think it's a little girl, isn't it? Jinx is dead. Damn. She's being more of a symbol yeah. rather than Jinx like, actually being out there doing like stuff. Dick Grayson trying to keep Batman alive. <laughs> yeah. No, no body count, no theatrics. Mm. You think it's a copy count? If it wasn't Jinx at the checkpoint. One of them knows where she is. Why is peace always the justification for violence? Maybe you have the strength I do not. 
to forgive and trust in tomorrow. The effects have been diminishing. Huh. I keep hearing about this healer. Mm -hmm. Victor, well, right? Did they say how long it's been? Did I miss it? They haven't said how long. No. It's felt like it's been a while, but it's been a bit. Well, they, they subdued Zahn, so it has to have been a bit, right? Oh, here's you could jackpot girl it. arm thing. Chance. You're a symbol. Huh. You want a symbol? <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't know how you do it, kid. You don't speak, she doesn't argue like with you, I guess. Mm. You gotta go blues. Me, a hero. How screwed up is this place? I probably owe it to you. Just talking to Soka? On account of the murdering and all. You're really gone. Mm -hmm. There's this chair, right? And there's no reason to stay here anymore. I don't even know if there's any actual connection, right? Just they had blue hair? Mm-hmm. Dang, man. Or make a stand together. Not as firelights. Or jinxers. As zonites. Where is she? The jinxers would be like, where's Jinx? Sure. So it's gonna jinx. Oh, into the arm. They tend to mm -hmm. throw spears. Oh, oh he's, man, he's this just, guy's he's so... just fighting the crowd. Beat him in his face. And stuck. Let's go for first. Jeez. trail. He has been working on that thing for a few Whoa. episodes. This is really fucking cool. Holy crap. This. That's so cool. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Here's someone who's just playing around. I think yeah. he's playing kind of playing around. The master criminal wears pants like that. What's wrong with my pants? You look like a half-eaten circus tent. <laughs> <laughs> Who eats half a tent? The elephant. I was gonna say, like, bugs. Moths. Yeah. I guess. I mean, it's crazy moths. They eat half already? Damn. Go back down. I don't know. Yep. Here I am, 
you're a big fat hero. Probably good for her to get some nice human contact. Some appreciation. It's like a hug when Peter Pan came back. Yep. There you are, Peter. <laughs> Still missing, uh, wow, Isha and uh, that guy. I bet there's a monster in there. It's taking, it's taking the train. It's gonna be a crazy train. This is a monster train. patiently waiting inside this box. Yeah, it's I a crazy train. In. Yeah, I better put this on. What happened? Damn. I can't look at that. You're late for Stink Ma's great comeuppance. <laughs> yeah, he locked himself in. I think it's gonna be a bunch of blood coming out, but it's, it's gonna end up that way. Looks like it could be a bunch of blood coming out. <laughs> oh! It's a big robot. I think it's like cybernetically enhanced beast. Oh! Oh man! Yeah, it's like a it's cyborg like a wolf werewolf. Man. Oh my gosh, I love those flashes of the red and black. Definitely has, like, doom music feelings. Oh my god. Was that Rictus? It looked like Rictus. On the... On the... Dais the, in the was middle. Was there a table in there? I don't know. Nah, I don't think so. Might have been the big guy that let her in. Oh, the big dude. Oh, you think? Yeah, it could be. You got me, hairball. I didn't know that that's what the one guy has been making his whole time has been... That's another character from League of Legends. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the guy, the monster, is a character, or the two separate characters, only one of them is a character? The, the, monster. the monster. The monster's a character, is a character from League of Legends. Okay. So, like, whenever, like, whenever it first, they first had him chained and he, like, woke up, Yeah. I was like, wait a minute. Okay. Like, I didn't, I didn't think about it till just then. I was like, that's gonna be sure. this guy. Yeah. But, uh, I realize League of Legends has like a hundred people that you can do that yeah, as, and Arcane has like what twelve of them. Yeah. No, I, <laughs> so yeah, there's a big roster out there. Separately, I think I also knew who the other guy is. The the Blood Mage dude. Yeah, I think I'm familiar <laughs> with that guy too. Okay. Maybe, but I don't know for sure. Okay. Um, but no, I believe this guy, uh, this monster thing is uh, Warwick was a character in League of Legends, which was kind of Warwick? like this werewolf creature guy thing whatever like it was just like this big wolf man kind of thing but he had like a bloodlust thing where he mm. would like when when people got down to like a certain amount of health his bloodlust would kick in and he just would be able to be like oh damn a, okay a bigger monster kind of thing too his ulti was okay nuts so he was like a chase you down and find you i would imagine so he yeah did so, what he did <laughs> yeah so like that there was real cool so, so like, that guy like Summon him by shedding blood, and then he like protected himself in the jail cell. Like, is that thing here for him, or is it I here think to it protect him? Tracked him through the tracked him. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's some like within the experimentation, if like him using his blood is like what the experiment's meant to be, or what exactly yeah. it is. Hmm. But okay, all right. 
But yeah, it was just it neat seemed to see like he more. trained him with his own blood. blood. So that he could pick it out and distinguish it from Cause the many the other vision, people's blood. There was like that yeah. scent trail kind of thing yeah. that it had in the vision and stuff that, too. That was so cool. The POV, POV, POV of the monster as it's running through the uh, the uh, the, the street, and it's and like it's it's playing like at eight frames a second, you mm-hmm. know. And it's every frame was a painting. It's really, really, really a cool imagery, which was really cool. Yeah, I mean, you like got it. like a sense that it could stop and look at everything that it was seeing and the, consider it for a second before it moved on, you know? The thing that's funny to me, though, is that, like, it ripped itself into this train. Yeah. And then it was like... Yeah. Wait here, John, yeah. get to the other side, I guess. You well, know, like, what's it supposed to do? I don't know, it's just funny, because, like, you think of, like, some kind, something that's, like, bloodlusty yeah. and rabid and stuff, and I don't think of it like, how long's that train ride? How long can you sit there and wait? Like, I get the yeah, man, it's like the Velociraptors <laughs> well, learning open doors. Oh, my, <laughs> my thinking was is there was a puddle of blood in it. So once it got to the tram, it's like, okay, this is the end of the trail. Because there's no like ground between that end of the tram and the other end of the tram so you're thinking to like, track it. But once it got this close enough to this end, can, it picked yeah, up okay. the trail again. Sure. This is the freshest blood I have available to me. Yeah. Oh, this thing is moving. Oh, fresher blood. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Okay, got That's kind of what I thought of. Yeah. It's literally on rails at that point. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. I really loved the... Mm-hmm. It was It was very much a Doom, like, slaughter sequence. Like the, the Doom video game. Of, like, slaughtering demons and stuff. But it was the demon slaughtering humans. Yeah. And, and I, I mean, love every time it would slash one of the guards, it would, like, like a still frame of, like, red and black. And, I mean, in terms of so power cool. scaling, I mean, Jinx is, like... One of the best I've seen in this show in terms of uh, how how scary and effective they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and she got beat. And that thing was huge. That thing was huge. Yeah, and fast. It, Very. It, it's definitely scaled up from like like everyone's kind of like the same size essentially in like League of Legends. It's like I feel like typically Warwick is you know the same size as like Caitlyn. I understand. Maybe just a little bigger because he's like a werewolf. So like sometimes yeah. they're, like they're bulkier and stuff. Yeah. But like okay. that thing seemed vastly yeah. different sized. You know. Yeah. He's like three times the height. It seems yeah. like. Okay. So. Uh, he also was much more machiney here than I feel like I'm used to. The what? He was much more machine. Warwick was. Yeah. Like. Okay. Yeah, he had like. He's big, got that like big pump thing big in his back. Piston pump thing. Yeah. It's like either pumping his body full of whatever is in that vessel or like is is like going with his breath like some kind of like hex oxygen exchange system or something like Mm. that like a respirator kind of thing it was very cool though looked like one of his arms were replaced yeah like that's him in league of legends got it okay just like this wolf yeah wolfy like it's, it, it, it's basically like the werewolf form of something. It's just he never has like a person form. He just has a werewolf. I understand. Form. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a hell of an introduction to a new League of Legends character. Um, we did have uh, Isha. Aisha. Yeah. Uh, the mute girl that's been with Jinx. She's named, and she it seems like she is the one that is uh, uh, pushing for Jinx to actually step into her role as savior that so many people see her as. Yeah. But she's not, so she did it herself. <laughs> yeah, she was like... Uh, it's like she's keeping the the, the dream alive. Trying to like carry the on the symbol. The pe- like, There's jinxers there that are yeah. looking at, up to her and stuff too. Yeah. And even there where but she literally uh, can't Savika was jinx. trying to have this rally to try to fight against the uppers. Yeah. Toppers? Toppers? Yeah. Um, Topsiders? Yeah, Topsiders. Uh... They were all like, where's Jinx? Uh, and then it wasn't until they mm-hmm. lit the little blue thing and they all were like, you know what, yes, we need to come together, I guess, yeah. is kind of what they did there. But even still, they are looking for Jinx. And I, I did like the idea that Nolan consider whoever it was a copycat because even though it does seem just like Jinx, there's no body count and no theatrics yeah. happening. Yeah. Nolan, who seems to have, uh, in the absence of Vi, hooked up with Caitlin. Mm-hmm. And then there's still no sign of Jace or Heimerdinger. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and I don't know what 
the time frame is. It's just there's been some time that's passed. So some, I'm curious least. on like how long has like Jace been missing. Also, I assume we got the mention that you guys said about too is the healer down in the fissure. Yes, is mm-hmm. Victor performing miracles. Yeah, so I wonder like how that's been going and what yeah. he's doing down there. Yeah, I don't know. You know I'm like, so curious. Mm. I feel like you know whatever, however that process that he did to that first guy. I can't remember his name, but he was from season one. Like, I, he's just been doing that more and healing people of their, of their um, shimmer Whatever their addictions. Whatever things and, are. Yeah. Um, yeah, maybe. Do you think that Imbessa, whenever she was talking with Caitlin and talking about uh, possibly underestimating or saying, you could have a strength that I don't have to forgive and to trust in tomorrow, is that something that Imbessa says... To coddle somebody, or does she actually believe that to be a strength? She doesn't seem like the person, the type of person that I would imagine that's a strength for. But I might just be biased against her because of the role she's given. What was it that she said again? Did you have it? Uh, yeah, the like I underestimated you, like in that you actually can be strong in a way that I'm not strong. The strength to forgive and to trust in tomorrow, and Bessa implying that. She's not strong enough of a person to forgive somebody or to trust in the tomorrow. Yeah. That's why she takes care of, tra- takes charge of things right now as much as she can. Oh, the idea of like we're fighting yeah. for, we're fighting a war for peace. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. Abessa is also saying a lot of stuff where she's just trying to make people, you know, feel better about themselves. Why she takes more power? Sure. I just wonder if that's a, something that she actually values as strength or not. I think that that's a thing that uh, she could recognize as a fault of her own. But yeah. Um, like I consider that to be a strength, but would does like does she? I'm curious. I could see it both ways. I I, I would think like my default would be that she sure. probably considers it. It's a like it's like your strength is more diplomacy, <coughs> yeah. right? Like mm-hmm. you are much better at diplomacy. I'm much better at I go and I fight and win and yeah. and, and now yeah. it's peace. Sure. You know, it's yeah. not I worked with worked out with whatever yeah. the issue is. Like yeah. it could just be that like she's flattering that person, right? Yeah, she's, she's flattering she Caitlyn. Not she has to, a, like placate her but to keep her like you know stay the course like if i need to i'll get my hands dirty and we yeah. can we can win this fight but yeah, i wonder if something that she considers it, to be naive it seems like she's putting it in a way to where like her behavior seems like she's still letting caitlin think that she's in charge yeah you know sure. but, but later she could easily just step in and and take over like Martial law has already kind of been a thing. A thing. Mm-hmm. So, who who is in charge in that situation? Uh, yeah. The leader of the army. Who yeah. who says is in charge of the army? You know. Yeah. Like she was the one that said, "Yeah, like this this city needs leadership. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm not the right person, but we need someone with a strong like military yeah. and social status." And she nominated. Mm-hmm. Caitlin, so mm-hmm. she could just as easily have nominated herself, and some people probably would have gone along with it. But maybe in the beginning, when it wasn't as bloody or anything, that was the right choice. But maybe if she keeps pulling strings sure. and manipulating it to where it is bloody, maybe they see like, oh, you know, this this more moderate leadership isn't cutting it. We need to like mm-hmm. really bear down and and win this war. I thought the moments of Jinx, like, actually getting to feel acceptance from other people, like, specifically through touch, was mm-hmm. really nice. The the hug at the end, uh, where that kid just, like, you know, I keep thinking of it as a, as a sibling relationship, but that one definitely felt like that kid was scared and wanted comfort from, at the very least, just someone over her, I guess. Yeah. I don't yeah. Know. Uh, I, mean, I wonder... Even, even the point of, like, Jinx being, like, Jinx is dead. That's a yeah. past me. You know, like, yeah. that's, not, that's not what I'm doing anymore. Mm-hmm. But she's kind of getting pulled back in here when that girl, she is. who she seems to care about, yeah. gets taken. You yeah. know? Like, so. she kind of started this conflict off as, like, the rebel, the uh, the anarchist, and stuff yeah, like it was that. Just chaos and, that they were ensuing. It wasn't, like, she, this is, she like... She just enjoyed the chaos, but this is actual, like, maybe we need some social reform. This is like trying to embrace the idea of being a hero and fighting for people, not yeah. just me fighting, ag- not fighting against, but fighting for Like, at least yeah. with, when Silco was there, like, Silco could give her a direction, even if it wasn't necessarily her direction, but 
being left to choose what her direction should be. I, I like that move with the Silco chair as well. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I'm really, really curious to see what happens next. Yep. Yep. And we have another episode. I would really like to see Jinx fall into a, well, whatever power oh, well, Jinx. Calvin! I'd really like to see uh, Jinx and or Powder, whatever she decides that she wants to be, fall into a more hero, leader of the community kind of thing, like like her kind of stepdad was, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'd be nice. And if you want to see that, hit the subscribe button, and maybe that's where we're going. Or maybe. <laughs>